And in Brownsville, some homeowners were displaced by the rain. City officials aren't taking any chances waiting for the next downpour. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz has more. As you can see, everything's flooded. Even Abraham Hernandez's property is entirely flooded after this morning's rain in Brownsville. And then we're expecting more rain tomorrow, so we're kind of concerned. I don't know why I need to set up some pumps, something. He says a lack of drainage in his area is frustrating. We're in the middle of the city. This is not county. We pay taxes like everybody. He's worried the stagnant water will cause a health risk for his three young children, even considering staying indoors for Halloween tomorrow night. Sanitary wise, it's not good for them. But he's grateful there was no damage inside his home. It wasn't the same story for other people around Brownsville. Some of them were brought to this 24 hour Red Cross shelter by fire rescue crews. For right now, we are open, and if people need to get over here because they're afraid that the weather might hit again, it, they might flood, they might not flood, they still can come over here. The shelter is located at the Parks and Recreation Center on 1338 East 8th Street. The city is also providing sandbags at the Public Works Department starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. In Brownsville, Annalise Ortiz, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And at this hour, several streets remain closed, including the Four Corners area of Boca Chica, so watch out on the roads. The city of Brownsville and Cameron County both supplying sandbags for residents. They can be picked up at the city's Public Works Department. That's at 6035 Jaime Zapata. They're also at the County Precinct 1 barn at Precinct 1 and 2. That's at 3243 East 14th Street. You can also go by Precinct 3 on FM 510 in San Jose Ranch Road in San Benito and Precinct 4 at 201 North T Street in Harlingen starting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning.